Now that we've quantitatively defined entropy, let's see what the entropy is for processes which we've discussed before, such as reversible isothermal expansion and compression, and reversible adiabatic compression and expansion. So first, we're going to talk about reversible isothermal expansion or compression. Either way, just depends on whether final it volume is larger than or smaller than the initial volume, whether it's expansion or compression. So for this, our uh, heat, our little differential of heat for an infinitesimal change in our system for an isothermal process has to be the negative of the infinitesimal of work because the the energy change is zero, so and the energy change is heat plus work, so if the energy change is zero and these are the only two quantities, they better be opposites of each other. So we have minus uh, this reversible work, and the reversible work is minus nRT over V dV, so negative of a negative gives a positive, so we get nRT over V dV. So if we change our volume by a tiny amount, this is how much uh, this is the negative of how much work we did, and that is how much heat we will input into the system as a result. So taking uh, then this differential for the reversible well, reversible work there, we need to divide that by temperature to get our uh, differential for entropy. So if we have between initial and final volume. Delta S is going to be the integral from final volume to initial volume. We're going to take this heat differential, divide that by T. So we're going to have 1 over T, nRT over V, dV. So those T's are going to cancel with each other. So that's going to be N and R are going to be constant, so we can pull those out of the integral. NR integral from V initial to V final of dV over V. So the integral of 1 over V is just going to be log V and it's going to be log V final minus log V initial or log V final over initial. So the entropy change that we get for expanding or compressing a gas in an isothermal way is going to be number of moles times gas constant times log of V final over V initial. So if our volume goes up, our entropy will go up, our disorder will go up, there's less certainty of where we can find uh, each gas molecule, each gas particle in space, and they each have the same energy, so there's kind of more disorder in the system within this larger amount of volume. Or if the amount of if the final volume is smaller, then there is more certainty about where it's located in space. The system is more ordered to some extent, we can say, and the entropy will have gone down. So, the entropy is related to the volume in that way. So, if I have everything else held equal, volume up means that entropy is going to up go up when all else is equal. Number of moles, uh, temperature, what have you. Okay, so that's for isothermal expansion. Let's look at the case if we do this as well for reversible adiabatic expansion. So adiabatic expansion and compression is where we do not input any heat during the process. So if you expand, your temperature is going to go down, and if you compress, your temperature is going to go up. Okay, so like we said, there's going to be no heat input during an adiabatic process, so our differential of heat is going to be zero. So that means that dS which is that reversible heat divided by temperature is also going to be zero. So if we if we integrated zero from V final to V initial we would still get zero. So our result for adiabatic expansion and or compression is going to be that delta S 
equals zero. So why this difference here? Why do we get a change in entropy for the isothermal case, but we do not get any change in entropy for the adiabatic case? Well, as we said, if the volume goes up, that means that the entropy is going to go up if everything else is equal. But likewise, the temperature, the, work, the energy required to do the work uh, left the system. So the energy of the system went down, and as a result, the temperature of the gas molecules went down. And we're going to see in the future that temperature and entropy are also proportional to one another. So if the temperature goes down, the entropy goes down. So these two effects end up canceling. And the result is that your net entropy is zero. So your if you expand, your gas molecules have more, they're more spatially spread out, but they're moving slower. So they have less energy, they have less kinetic energy, which is related to the temperature. So that's the difference between these two systems here, whether we do our expansion or compression adiabatically or whether we do so isothermally.